Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and this is a futures trading tutorial for the Ninja Trader platform. We're using for signals our roller coaster indicator, which is a great day trading and scalping uh, signals indicator and trade, ma trade management built in. Uh, but also I'm using the automated guardian zones as well. So these are automatic um, multi time frame zones, support and resistance zones to stop you from getting into trouble. So I wanted to show you how to trade between those. And I think the roller coaster is a good example of when to take trades and when not to take trades uh, when we've got fresh air. So this is ES just going into the end of 2022. Um, we get uh, a nice, um, this is during the Asian session now, we get a nice signal here. Uh, we get the little red arrow coming down. It's just tested the 15 minute and the current five minute high can actually see this blue uh, resistance zone there. That's the 15 minute zone. If I just zoom out a little bit, you can see there, uh, there's the 15 minute zone here and there's the current uh, five minute high can uh, zone. And then down below, this is, a, this is another one. We see how it's tested here before. This is another good zone uh, from this current five minute high Kanashi. So we get the stop printed for the signal, which is inside that resistance zone. We get the entry. We measure the risk reward, and I'm gonna do that on the last one to just to show you which tool to use. And we can see that risk to reward is one to 1 1.6 down to that next support zone. Brilliant, fresh air. With a roller coaster, when we're day trading like this, anything over one to one is pretty good with a roller coaster and we would take those trades. Anything less, we don't. The previous trade here, you see there's not enough fresh air. We didn't trade it. So we traded this one. Uh, basically, we put a, an entry. Um, when we get this red arrow down, we get the green line and we put an entry at that price, uh, 3867, and it got taken in and started to go down. Then it starts to print this trailing stop. So every time a candle closes, we adjust our trailing stop to keep going until it takes it out at 3858, which is a fantastic trade. Okay, that's, that's you know, it's eight points. Really good trade, nice move down. Then we move along in time a little bit. We're coming now into the European session. We get a big range here between the stop and the entry. So the risk to reward is very small into this resistance zone. So we don't take the trade. Simple as that. Now, you see the resistance zone stops at this point here. Why? Because the automated guardian zones and the link to subscribe to the guardian zones is down below. So it was tested here. But then it went through at this point here and it actually went through at this point here and there was no pivot and again here. So the software, the logic says this particular support and resistance zone is no longer relevant on this five minute and it stops printing it. OK, so now we are we didn't take the long. We've got a short. We've got a short arrow here. This is our entry. This is our stop. The risk reward is 1 to 1.6 into the 30 minute uh, zone. So we, we have blue for 15. The orange is for the current time frame. And then these, these green zones down here on the 30 minute time frame. So looking at multiple time frames, even though we're trading off this five minute high Kanashi to give us help with that support and resistance. So we've got a decent risk reward of 1 to 1 1.6 and we go in. So we get a signal candle here. We don't actually breach the start line because whenever we're day trading, we need a, a stop market or a stop limit order to make sure that we go through the start line and we're in. And um, we're in at uh, 3854. Starts to print the trailing stop, this line here coming all the way down. Now it's starting to find that support really, really strong. Going into sort of like the oil pit open at this point as well. We're getting close towards that opening range. And, and eventually, uh, as we get the market open, that support is too much and it bounces back off and takes our profit at 3847. So again, that's another seven or eight points there very very good so we're moving along in time now we can see the 30 minute zones here stop printing because we've had these moves up and down and a, the logic has said these zones are no longer relevant now we get another short signal at this point here 
There's the stop. There's the entry, the risk to reward to this this recent zone that's just starting being printed with these low pivots here um, is one to 1.3 in the middle there. So good trade, go, starts to print the trailing stop, then starts to form another support zone down here. So the guardian zone start to print that down as well, takes out the profit at that point. The candle after we get a long signal the green arrow here so the stop is just below this support and resistance zone the entries here to measure this risk reward all the way up to the next bit of danger which is this resistance zone again totally automated with the resistance zone there we're going to use the fib extension tool okay and we're going to, there's three clicks on this we the first click is we click on the stop then we click on the entry and let's just bring it out to one side a little bit here and click again now, at the moment, we can see this is way over one to one. Uh, let me just click on there, right click. I've already saved a template for my risk to reward. So I'm going to load that template there. Click apply. And we can see that risk to reward is one to two. OK, uh, so this is a really great risk to reward to our next support and resistance zone. We go long all the way into the close and have a great trade. So remember, no matter which signal a strategy you are using there'll always be signals that fail because it re those signals rely on a certain amount of logic that logic does not include support and resistance zones that are relevant on multiple time frames what the guardian zones does is put those on the charts for you automatically and take them off when they're no longer relevant so when you get signals you can actually decide yes there's enough fresh air i'm going to take that signal or no in this case which worked out right because there was no enough fresh air and the signal did not go on and make money when we get the fresh air we take the signal and believe it or not uh, we you know these support and resistance zones this logic is very very clever and it gives us those opportunities to trade between the zones. So down in the links below, we have the roller coaster for the Ninja Trader platform, also the roller coaster for other uh, platforms as well, and also the new Guardian zones, which are totally automated, multiple time frame support and resistance zones, putting them on, taking them off, making sure that logic is up to date, and you are making sure you're trading between the zones making sure you've got fresh air and that is a subscription and the link in there is for the subscription for the guardian zones